Your project is centered on augmenting a landing page to elevate user sign-up rates. The team has crafted two unique call to actions with the goal of identifying which versions yield superior conversion rate, which method should you recommend to the team. Let's explore the option. Option A, gather qualitative feedback from internal stakeholders about their preference for the design. So what I understand is I take both the pages, I give a demo to my internal stakeholders and take an opinion from them so that we can decide which one is better to put for in front of our customer. Looks like a nice idea. What is missing here is the your stakeholder may not be representing the end users. Yeah? The whole population of end user may not behave as your stakeholders are behaving. So if we can get a bigger population to give a feedback that would be better option. Let's see other options here. Option B, benchmarking the page in comparison with those of competitors. So you have a version A of a page, version B of the page. You look at various competitors and try to find out which version is matching with the established competitors. A good idea. Usually the benchmarking is good to collect the initial level of requirements but may not be that good to decide out of these two, which one will be the better. Yeah. So I want to get some live data rather than I'm just doing theoretical analysis. Let's see if we have a better option. Option C, conducting a focus group to ascertain the most effective page design. It is like a subset of option A. Option A is saying gather the information from the stakeholders. Now you are saying, I will find out some specialized stakeholder who might be able to give me this input. And I will say, guys, you need to figure out and, and, and evaluate these two particular pages and tell me which one is better. Personally, I feel A, B, C, all are candidate, all are possible options. We are just looking for the better one, which can give us the real insight from the user uh, uh, behavior. Option D, execute A, B testing to empirically determine the most effective call to action. That's the best thing. And you might have studied A-B testing in your PNP exam preparation, especially if you are following PMI uh, recommended content from a PMI ATP. The idea of A-B testing is especially used when you have a digital tool, software projects like this, to figure it out which particular version might be producing better results. And it is done for critical pages, like call to action page seems to be a very critical page. So it's always a good idea to show the version A and version B to some limited population. Both the versions are available to different, different population. You make a strategy out of it, and then you analyze how the users are behaving, interacting while they are doing uh, using version A or version B. And based on that, you decide which version is more suitable for your call to action improvement. So the overall project was made for the goal of improving uh, the call to actions, elevating the user sign up. So that's the primary purpose. And looking at that primary purpose, the A-B testing looks very perfect in this particular situation. When we talk about ECOs, this is mapped to process domain task one, which focuses on execute project with urgency required to deliver business value. It also talks about validating business value delivery at a frequent basis. That's the task. It also maps to the task two of business domain, which focuses on evaluate and deliver project benefits and value. Uh, 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 so that's uh, another task. And here we are eval evaluating the benefit delivery by using A-B testing. The topics used, we are using early feedback in this particular case, uh, and we are definitely using a technique called A-B testing.